It was the first time I was employed professionally. Really? Yes. And that was when the Rick Mail started uh, his great work. And what work. did the Rick Mail do that day? The. You can call me the. <laughs> what did you do that day? And you're Steve. Yes. I'll call you A. I'm just Steve. A Steve. Steve. <laughs> well, just. I'll call just you just. Steve. Thank you. You call me the. So just, what was the question? Uh, 30 years ago today, what did you the. actually do? The. The. What did I do? Yeah. Oh, I was employed, um, Edmondson was there, right. the bad man Edmondson, who's very, very talented. But mm. you know, the great thing about me, one of the great things about me, is how many different things I've done in my great career, which is enormous. <laughs> Everything about me is enormous, that's right. Very naughty, naughty. But well, this is it's before your, your watershed. It is, it's quite early in the morning, actually. So, is it very early in the morning? <laughs> yeah. Right, so we mustn't say things like, you know. No, let's not. Right. Things, but no, but no, the great no. thing about me is, during that 30 years, I have, well, I invented alternative comedy. Mm -hmm. I rescued British comedy itself with The Young Ones. Mm -hmm. I rescued British Light Entertainment. Mm -hmm. I brought down the Thatcher administration with the new statement. Which many people think it was the most important thing you did. Well, indeed, yes. Mm -hmm. well, I gave Tony Blair his job, <laughs> which I did. Thank, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, and then later on, I was, uh, well, we, me and Adrian Emerson, who's very talented as well, we reconfigurated global culture itself with our smash hit breakthrough series, Bottom, right. which then went on the road for 10 years, mm -hmm. the final show of which was last year, mm -hmm. and then, uh, then I was assassinated. Um, I'm interested to know about that. What, what happened there? Well, it's all in the book. Right. It's all in the book. How, How about giving us a tease? There were three, well, there were three assassination attempts. Uh -huh. Alexis Sale was involved one on the set uh -huh. of The Young One. Uh -huh. um, the second assassination attempt was by the police in Covent Garden. You may have seen that in the newspapers when I was arrested for allegedly having a gun. Right. Allegedly having a gun, see, right? Right. right. Just allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then thirdly was when, uh, well, you have to read the book, was when uh, I was killed. I was actually killed. I was mm -hmm. dead for five days. This, I was actually this is the quad, quad bike. Indeed. The I call, quad it bike. I call it accident. You, you, yeah, it's an accident. accident. Yeah. yeah. But it was uh, Good Friday that I was actually killed. Mm -hmm. And Jesus was, no, it was Crap Thursday, sorry. That was Crap Thursday. <laughs> Well, it's a bit early, isn't it? It was Crap Thursday, and then there's Crap Thursday, and then Good Friday is when poor Jesus, you know, mm -hmm. it happened to him. Mm -hmm. And then there's Saturday, and there's Easter Sunday, mm -hmm. when uh, Jesus came back to life, and then there's Monday, when I came back to life. Mm -hmm. Now, that's very important. That's when I went to heaven and met God. Yes, I did. Is that, uh, is that that's in the book? Uh, let me ask you about God in a moment. But um, Bigger or your than Hitler, better than Christ. So the better than Christ relates to the... Absolutely, I've been beaten 5-3. <laughs> Plus, also, my book has got a reversible uh, flap. You see, can I say flap? Yeah, I think you can. Okay, so in that context, you shift. definitely can. Uh, I've got a reversible flap, and the Bible hasn't got that. Also, Jesus' autobiography was ghostwritten. Mm. I don't think that he wrote the Bible. No. I don't know, I don't want to hurt any Christians here, but I don't think he did write it. Plus, my autobiography has got photos in it. There's a photo of a bird. That's gratuitous, isn't it? So, it's very important that my book came. Now, an awful lot of people think that when your great career is over, that's when you bring out your autobiography. This mm. is not what this is about. Mm. There have been so many question marks hanging over my great career. Mm. Look, these are my 12 disciples inside the flap there. Right. These are just 12 of my great disciples, the great characters that I've played. There are over 42 characters I've played. I have been in over 178 performances I've given in mm -hmm. sitcoms. But that's not the end of my career. That's just the first third of my career. If you notice, Rick, Rick Jesus does that three number on the right. front cover. No, it's so much to tell you, so much to, because at the same time, ITV is what uh, gave me uh, a script appears. Mike Bullen, who's that? This Cold is feet. Cold Feet. What's yeah. that? You know, um, he, he wrote Cold yeah. Feet, he wrote Life Begins. You know, uh, okay. Yeah. They were not bad, those programs. Mike right. Bullen wrote them. But they didn't have Rick in them. They didn't have the in them. They didn't have the the in them. <laughs> so you forget yourself sometimes, don't you? No one's perfect. <laughs> I met Jesus, actually. Tell us, no, I met Jesus. I, I think we've, we've moved on from that meeting. No. Let's tell us about the TV series oh, well, on ITV fantastic. One. Then. It's fantastic. They, it's uh, by Mike. It's got no, actually, quite seriously. It's a very good program. Mm -hmm. There's, um, I play George. Mm. Okay, it's kind of Rick being doing a bit of more kind of straight acting, really. Well, it's straight acting, but it's very funny and it's very sad. I'm trying to hold together a family. I've got a grandmother, I've got a wife, I've got a step wife, an ex-wife, I've got um, I've got a stepson, I've got a stepdaughter, although they're my ex, I've got my own daughter, I've got and then I've got a business to run, I've got a father, I've got my right. brother. It's just I'm trying to keep everyone together. And then my daughter I've become a grandfather in the first episode. 
So George is just trying to hold everything together. Mm. Doesn't sound like it's going to get you by the throat, does it? But it no, will. No. Mike Bullen, well, he doesn't write he's just bad stuff, does he? No. 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 And Jack Shepard's in it. And he's one of my heroes. Oh, yeah. So I did okay. take it because of Jack. It's just because of Jack. Well, it had a lot to do with it. Well, I cost because I was in it, and I was the best part. Oh, here's um, a good one. This is true as well with my camera. Thank you. <laughs> this is a good one. Look, you know I can do this. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> That's coming at you. See, because it's called something else, and then when they realise that I was how good I was, they changed its name. It's all about George. Mm. And the great thing about All About George is that it's on the telly mm. on Thursday, the 29th. Of September, good. ITV One, right? Good. Nine o'clock, because I'm Mr. ITV. ITV is the People Channel. Mm. I am the People's People. The People Channel, I'm the People's kind of guy. I'm here for the people. The people are here for me. You're watching something independent. You're watching something televisual. You're watching something new. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of bad news out there, and this is good news coming at ya, coming at ya in the mouth. Would you, you like to see a sexy picture of me in the book? Tell me more about um, very sexy all about George. George. Just finally. Sorry. Okay, well, because it if, is, I mean, if we, it gets good enough audience figures, just keep playing the camera with me. If it gets good enough audience figures, then it will go to second. It will get a second series. Mm. Uh, Edna Dawes in it, which is great. Um, Gemma Jones is in it. Jack's in it. It's uh, there are several bed scenes, which will get the ladies in because it got the wreck yeah. in bed scenes. Here you've got. That's a new. You've got to that get that a, a new departure. I. I yeah, no, never I mind you. Talk. Never mind you. <laughs> Look. The important thing is, you've got, this book is a piece of insanity that I've given birth to. Uh, and you've got George, which is a piece of extreme insanity and very good acting and uh, good stuff as well. well. And it's on ITV. ITV's the channel. I, does this get shown on Channel 4? No, you're fine. Okay. No. ITV's the channel for me.